Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So this video is to present our project based learning Mathematics Form 4 Chapter 10 This slide is prepared by me Nur Farawaida binti Nombahrin and also Nurul Izzah Alia binti Saiful Amrain Okay, moving on to second slide is our title for the project The title is during this pandemic time, Levi needs to learn at home. By doing that, he needs a good gadget. Levi is planning to buy a thousand ringgit laptop in three months. Carry out financial plan for Levi. To do a financial plan for Levi, he needs to apply smart concept. S stands for specific. M stands for measurable. A stands for attainable. R stands for realistic. And T stands for time bound. For specific, Levi's goal is to buy a laptop. In this case, his goal is specific because he aims to buy a specific thing. M. Measurable, Levi's specific goal can be calculated as he knows the laptop price. In this case, his goal can be measured. A. Attainable, Levi's financial goals is attainable because it can be achieved by saving 350 ringgit a month from his daily pocket money 20 ringgit and business profit. Realistic. Device financial goal of buying a laptop in 3 months is realistic. He will save 350 ringgit a month to achieve the goal. And lastly, time bound. Device financial goal is time bound because it has a time limit of 3 months. Next, I will hand over this presentation to my friend Nurul Iza Alia. Thank you for Awaida. And now I'll be evaluating Levi's financial status. Levi received a daily pocket money which is 20 ringgit. He also owned a small business which gave him 50 ringgit a month. Other than that, Levi needs to pay for class decoration fees which is 10 ringgit a month and also extra class fees which is 20 ringgit a month. And now we'll be creating a financial plan for Levi. After 30 days of saving, he received 600 ringgit pocket money and also 50 ringgit business profit. Other than that, he received zero passive income. Thus, the total monthly income is 650 ringgit. After we minus fixed month saving, which is 60 ringgit, the income balance is 590 ringgit. And now we're going to calculate the monthly fixed expenses. He needs to pay 10 ringgit class decoration fees, 20 ringgit extra class fees, and also 150 ringgit for food. Thus, the total monthly fixed expenses is 180 ringgit. The surplus of income is 410 ringgit. Hence, Levi has a positive cash flow and can save 350 ringgit a month to buy his dream laptop. The reflection that we get from this project by learning is that we used to think that savings is not important in life but after learning about this chapter, we realized that how important savings are in life. Other than that, we also realized that savings at young age gave us the opportunity to be independent and not rely 100% to our parents. And that's the end of our presentation. Thank you.